Opera Sim here with a deck tech for the left node of the Seize the Day event. This is a Garrick 2 deck focused around the card Icarid. So this guy's a 5-3 hasty menace for 13. And at the end of your turn, he's destroyed. But when you cycle or in this deck, discard another card. If that card is a creature card, and if this creature is in your graveyard, this card gains seven mana. So if you discard two cards, it will have fully charged uh, buried mana, so it can be cast from your graveyard. And then when it enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your graveyard, it gets plus three, plus oh. So that would make it an 8-3 when it's attacking from the graveyard. So this deck basically is just trying to dump a bunch of Icarid into the graveyard, uh, discard or wheel your hands away to uh, go ahead and uh, recur a bunch of Icarids every turn, every other turn from the graveyard. So to get stuff in the graveyard, we have Gather the Pack, one of the best ones to destroy four cards, and can also get some more Icarids into your hand to discard. Mortal Kombat, this mythic from Torment's pretty cool for 13, an enchantment at the beginning of your turn. Um, if there are 15 or more creature cards in your graveyard, you gain 15 loyalty. That won't come into effect too much, but the main reason we're playing it at the end of your turn. You may pick one of the first two creature cards from your library. If you do fetch that card, then you may destroy the other, or then destroy the other. So this gets one acreage into the graveyard and then one into our hand to discard. Vivian Nature's Avenger, this Vanguard, we use the plus one ability in this deck to uh, fetch the first creature card uh, from your library. You can technically use the other ones to pump, uh, but it's really the first ability that's in here for. And then Buried Alive, not the best, but it's five just to get an Icarid into your graveyard, and I don't have a better thing for the last slot. Um, we have Elemental Bond in here. Uh, this could also be... Uh, season of Growth. I'm playing around with which one works best, but this one's a little cheaper. So when you summon a creature with power five or more, read Icarid, you draw a card. So this will help uh, draw you a bunch of cards back so you'll have more things to discard as well. Uh, zombie Infestation, Enchantment for three. At the end of your turn, you may discard the last card of your hand, and then you get to create a 2-2 two -two Zombie. Narcissism for eight at the beginning of combat. Discard the last card in your hand. If you do target creature you control gets plus three plus three. And then it has the bonus if it's discarded. You can give your first creature plus three plus three. We have Serum Powder uh, for the overflow ability, which can be pretty solid in this deck to discard multiple cards to charge all your Icarids uh, to wheel. And then final card in here is Insidious Dreams. So it's a spell for five. Discard all cards in your hand without mana. And then fetch the first X different cards from your library that are not named that. And then lose X life. Where X is the number of cards discarded this way. So both Insidious Dreams and Serum Powder can be very, very good when they work. Um, in terms of just discarding quite a few cards from your hands and charging up your whole graveyard. So let's go ahead and give this a run. I kind of got the god draw uh, last game of this that I was playing uh, with a starting hand. Uh, the ideal thing you would have would be a gather the pack and a insidious dreams because that would allow you to gather the pack, put an Icarator or two into your hand depending on how many green gems are on the board, but four into your graveyard, and then you insidious dreams to get rid of at least two cards in your hand and that will fully charge those Icarids, the uh, four in the graveyard plus the one or two that you discard, uh, to get a whole lot of uh, hasty damage to attack on the first turn. Uh, but the other secondaries on this is just win in 10 turns or less and uh, have 20 or more cards in your graveyard. So after I did that actually and attacked for 40 the first turn, I slowed my roll a little bit to make sure that I was going to actually hit the secondary. Um, so let's see. We have Icarids and Buried Alives. So what we're going to do here is just cast the Icarid. It'll attack uh, one time and then die. And then the Buried Alives will go ahead and put some other cards into our graveyard. So this is not a bad start. Got a black match into uh, four black matches. Just the mana bonuses. We've got plus four in black and green. And then plus two in red. Minus one to white and blue. We're playing against Ral who's got plus five to white and blue. And then minus two to green. We'll keep those things in mind. 
You oh, actually no, I miss miss saw the board. So we don't have that exact match that I mentioned before uh, for the uh, blacks and greens. So let's see, we can get a green plus a blue, which is not the worst. It's likely what we're gonna do. But uh, let's see what else there is. There's a white plus a blue as well, but that's not as great for us mana wise. Um, Yeah, let's see. Um, our opponent doesn't like green too much, uh, but they do like blue, so we'd steal their blue if we took the blue and the green. And that could get us a black or a white on top. Let's just do that and not take any more time there. Great, and we have this special gem for this level, which is the... Uh, the beginning of your turn, destroy the top four cards of your library, then your opponent draws a card and gains half mana. So that helps uh, fill our graveyard up a little bit, and uh, we'll draw cards on our opponent. So we have our Nature's Avenger, which is good. We want to get this narcissism online probably as fast as possible here. Uh, so let's see what we can do. We've got a black match into a green match, which is fantastic. So that would give us enough, actually, for our narcissism and for um, Nature's Avenger, which I think is more important to get online than the Icarid right now, just because we want to start getting uh, more Icarids into hand that we're going to be able to discard every turn. So that's looking really good, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, that was dumb. What I was supposed to do, uh, there's a lot of sequencing in this deck. I was supposed to put the Icarid in the bottom of my hand right there, so I discarded the Icarid. Um, not a huge deal. Oh, great. Gather the pack. So we are going to uh, kick it up a notch here. So let's go ahead and fetch out our... Icarid that we're going to discard to the Narcissism. Uh, let's see, I've got a black into a white, which is going to give us a good amount of mana. It's going to give us nine mana. So with the nine mana, I could cast both Gather the Pack and the Icarid, which is pretty nice. So we'll go ahead and do that. Serum Powder, didn't quite have enough cards in hand to make that work. All right. Fetch our Icarid. Um, let's see, we want to cast these Buried Alives to fill our graveyard up even more, probably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Icarids in the graveyard. We're going to have eight at the end of this turn, and then possibly nine, ten with Buried Alive, which is pretty solid. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and grab this green match here. Narcissism to discard, and then next turn we're going to be able to hit him for a lot. He's smacking us for a lot, but I think we're going to win this race pretty handily here. Great, there's an elemental bond, which is wonderful. Hopefully this will do some stuff like draw us into um, serum powders or... Excuse me, serum powders or... Uh, in City Streams that we can start to do some pretty nasty stuff with. All right, so let's see. We've got a green match, which is good. 
narcissism. So let's see. Sorry, that was a big breath into the microphone. So let's go ahead and take a look at our graveyard. We have nine creatures in the graveyard, which is wonderful. Um, so, weirdly, I think actually what we're going to do is get rid of some of these extra cards in our hand because those are going to be able to be um, cast to get or, or draw cards uh, off the elemental bond to get uh, more Icarids or more other cards we could potentially use, which is pretty nice. So actually had enough mana. I should have looked at the board more carefully. I had enough mana to actually cast that um, Buried Alive as well. So that was a wasted non Icarid happening, but you'll see every time the Icarid's coming in, we are able to get elemental bonds going, so we're kind of firing on all cylinders here, doing what the deck wants to do. Great, and then we have a zombie infestation, so we're going to be able to discard, have another discard outlet, which is wonderful. Ooh, but we have Insidious Dreams, and Insidious Dreams is awesome. So, let's see, there's no more creatures in the graveyard, so I think we save the Insidious Dreams for next turn. But we do want to make sure we get the zombie infestation onto the board. And then we'll have the two Icarids at the end of our hand, uh, so we can discard them. Narcissism, oh, I think I did that wrong. I maybe should have actually used that infestation this turn because I think there were more Icarids in my graveyard that I uh, could have gotten rid of. That's okay, though. Great, and then what we can also do is we can make, maybe I should have done it last turn. I wasn't paying the most attention. It's a little late here. I started this event late. But uh, we can make our uh, wolves as well, which is pretty nice. So we'll make some wolves. Actually, that might not have been the smartest because then I think, do I do my things have berserker? My things might grab Berserker with the weird support thing that it gives me. Yeah, so I actually maybe didn't want to do that, but that's okay. We're learning how to play this deck, too. So let's see. How many Icarids? 11 Icarids. That's a ton of damage. That is awesome. So let's get more Icarids, because what's better than some Icarids? More Icarids. Um... And we'll go ahead and Insidious Dreams. Let's see. I guess taking a red match here. Sure. Dreams away some stuff. Charge our hand. Why not? We'll dreams again. Here comes the Icarus train. Yeah, actually casting that wolf was really dumb in this board state, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. So we're going to have more than enough of these dudes to just win this turn. And what turn is this? Around turn 7? Turn 6. Yeah, so around the average sort of win is usually turn 6, turn 7. Um, from the, you know, smallish sample size of a dozen, two dozen games I played with this. Um, but it's a fun deck. Um, it does have a really hard time against uh, Graft Digger's Cage and... Uh, 
Leyline of the Void, which are legal in this format since they're an M20. So keep that in mind. It is a risk to do, a little narcissism to make it a little bigger for some extra damage. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Hope you enjoyed this video of Icarid for the Seize the Day event, and have a good one.